Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in once again, this time as the Business Hog. An interesting character of which I haven't really had a good sort of look at properly. Ben is going to jump in as him and we're going to be going for the Crown of Guns to unlock our Secret Ultra, which I don't even remember which one the Crown of Guns is. Um, no ammo drops, more weapon drops. Okay, that's an interesting idea. Um... We start with a direct weapon. Also, that guy being literally next to us isn't ideal. Oh, God. Already taking some damage here. But I guess the idea here is that we can use our shop to gain ammo for weapons that we like. Uh, but we are going to be cycling weapons reasonably often. At least early on. Because I don't think the shop is super worthwhile early on. By the way, if you're wondering what I mean, uh, here you can spend your rads on various different things here. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty useful, especially late game. Early game, I think it's one of those things that you probably don't want to use a lot. Just so you, you don't end up um, wasting, obviously, your levels. Uh, but I think we're going to go with the discounts, considering we need ammo. So that's going to be really good. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty, pretty simple run, really. Also, you might notice I do have a new microphone. Uh, got one recently. It's not going to be drastically different than my previous one, but you should notice that the audio quality is a little bit better. And my voice sounds a little bit more natural, I hope. Um, so hopefully you guys can actually hear that and it's coming through a little bit because um, this mic was a good bit more expensive than my last one. But I was feeling like a change and my old mic was somewhat broken. The gain on it was kind of dodgy. So I kind of needed a new one anyway, so it was about that time. I'm, I'm liking the fact that we've got the uh, the good old laser rifle going here. It's good. It's good. Ooh, there you go. Golden crossbow. Not to always forget this guy gets uh, golden weapons after every boss. That's why we've got so many golden weapons unlocked for him, which I think is quite fun. I can't wait that hit me. I tried to dodge my, the best I could, but it wasn't happening. Mini plasma gun here. Could be pretty fun, especially on these tight areas with a lot of enemies. So a situation like now is a perfect situation to uh, buy myself some health. Just to try and stay a little bit safer. Um, Bloodlust is going to be a good way to stop us from having to buy health. That's something I've got to remember I can do though. Buying health is reasonably important. I have two weapons that use the same ammo type here. What have I done? What have I done? There you go, some ammo there. We still get ammo crates, luckily, so it's not like we're completely devoid of all methods of gaining ammo for one gun. Charge laser seems better. It does do some pretty metal stuff. Did it get to level 4? Excuse me, where did you come from? How did I completely miss that guy? Probably shouldn't be using something that takes up so much ammo, though. I'm going to buy some health. Oh, I don't have a brads for it, goddammit. Okay, this is this this weapon honestly isn't great. <laughs> I want to switch out my weapons pretty shortly here. Um, Rabbit's paw doesn't really do anything for us, does it? Rads heal and reload all your weapons. Ammo and HP drops give rads. It's probably a good idea to, get, to grab that. But we definitely need to switch over our weapon to a... A non-energy one, at least one of our guns to a non-energy one, because I think at the minute we are wasting potential. There you go, triple machine gun. We like it. That thing will blast through a few enemies for us, especially if we can get some eagle eyes going on. The thing is, we probably should get eagle eyes anyways, because like there's just so many variety of weapons that we're going to be changing between that there's a likelihood that a lot of weapons we pick up could benefit. Like, normally I wouldn't take Eagle Eyes because I'm like, oh, well, I'm not going to keep this weapon forever, so what's the point? But there's plenty of uh, weapons that benefit from Eagle Eyes, and I'm going to be switching weapons so often that quite a few of them are likely to benefit from it, so might not be a bad choice at all. Oh, God damn it! You got me. That was very nice. Big old boom. I think we're getting health drops more often in place of uh, potential ammo drops, which is kind of nice. Flamethrower here, not bad. Trying to get the rads wherever I can. You don't get burned by that, though, do you? Uh, blood minigun. Slightly annoying, because that, that, that dude no longer gives us any ammo. I'll take a blood minigun, though. It's probably not the best for us, because it'll use a lot of ammo. Um, let's have a little look-see. 
Alien Intestines is kind of an interesting one here. I think I'm going to go for that. Assault Slugger, I like the idea of. I'll grab that. Let's just keep it going, shall we? Assault Slugger's maybe going to be a little heavy on the ammo consumption, to be honest. And by a little heavy, I mean it's it's going to be it's going to be gone pretty fucking so shortly. Yeah, there you go. But I can do that. And I accidentally spawned myself a chest there. I didn't actually mean to do that, but... What's done is done, I guess. What on earth is going on down here? Any more enemies up and around here? Yes, I'm going to take these guys out first. Yeah, Alien Intestines is going to be very, very nice for us to just have a, um, a way of dealing damage with them when we don't have ammo. Nice and easy there. Another golden weapon unlocked. Beautiful. Yeah. This is going to be a good way to do things, I think. Morpho Ray. Yeah, we'll take a Morpho Ray. I'm surprised the Morpho Ray. Morpho Rifle, that's why. I'm surprised it uses um, bullet ammo, but there you go. Right. We're stepping through pretty quickly here. Things are going reasonably well. Oh, God. I say that and immediately... Then starts with all of these guys coming in. Bouncer crash seems pretty good for us on this scenario here. Can I be directional about where I aim that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Ammo becoming an issue once again here. Unfortunately, Frost Glove, not really what I'm looking for, but I'll take it, I guess. It's actually pretty good, to be honest. That was uh, a lot more damage than I was expecting, and safer than I was expecting it to be as well. Sticky launcher. Stressful, but could be really good. Where are your last little fella? I could probably use this to get around, to be honest. Okay, good. We good? Okay, we're good. We'll use the sticky launcher here. Um... I'll go with Strong Spirit at this point, I think. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That felt a little sketchy. We are again having two weapons here that use the same ammo type, so let's try and uh, switch that out to that, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we've got a Kraken gun there as well, actually. Oh, it's a Kraken pistol. That's wee little baby. Ooh, the sticky launcher does actually slow them. Kind of nice. Slows them pretty heavily, to be honest. And it does a pretty wide raise. I can kind of see why this is tier 7 now, to be honest. I, 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 at first, I was kind of like, tier 7 seems a little bullshit for this, but we're kind of getting it now. It's, it's pretty goddamn good. Okay, let's buy some HP before we die. Very nice having that safety net of, like, if you want to spend just a little bit of rads, you can... Take away some of the risk. The only thing with this sticky launcher is I've just, I'm so scared of enemies running directly towards me after I've stuck them. And I know it's like a genuinely pretty high possibility. Not quite as good as herping on the alien intestines there, especially on this level. I was kind of herping it reach through and grab quite a few enemies there, but it is what it is. There you go. That's where it's good when it's a few smaller enemies like that. This seems to be going reasonably well thus far. Look at that, yeah. A few small enemies does a great job, and also the longer we leave it with alien intestines, the more, like, the, the larger it'll be, so... We can kind of leave it a little longer to hopefully deal a bit more damage. And that thing was doing damage for us to other enemies there, so I could have just left it. Ow. Yet again, I'm going to grab this. What the hell's this? Interesting. Oh, the ammo consumption on that thing's ridiculous, though. Let's get out of the way of that health so I can grab it. Thank you, thank you. That worked out perfectly. 
Okay. Not too bad. We are leveling up quite slowly here, which I'm a little worried about. Hmm. I mean, this doesn't really matter, to be honest, does it? We're not going to keep this for long, so... Say goodbye to uh, these weapons relatively shortly here. I could also buy new weapons as well if I do, like, end up going a while without weapons. Okay, this guy's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Unless I can stick him a few times. I'm trying, but he's a little difficult to deal with, to be honest. Or proving to be. Okay, I, something killed him. I don't know what, but something killed him, so... I'll accept the victory, even if I don't know what caused it. Maybe it was like a Kraken from one of the explosions or something. Okay, there, that's where he died as well. You can see that. Ooh, we got the golden car thrower. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'd love to see more golden weapons, even some higher tier ones. I know that I'd make runs, like, really easy, but... I think it's really fun starting with, like... The micro weapons definitely need to have golden versions. I'd absolutely love it if the micro versions did. Nah, we have to keep, keep two different ammo types, don't we? This thing's doing a good enough job. It's dangerous to us, which is the scary bit, but it is doing a mighty, mighty good job. Right, we're almost up to level 7. Oh my god. Okay, we do not have the right weaponry for this area, really, at all. I would very much like to change weapons here. Got an inverted area there as well. Energy hammer, I do not mind the idea of. Very, very high damage for us here. Would love it if I didn't almost die, though. Okay, it's out of ammo already. That was a bit of a wash. Need some HP there. I'll try going through here, but I'm not particularly convinced. Um, boiling veins would probably be a good idea with this weapon. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't see that guy there, so we are restarting. This is tricky. This is tricky. Really? I got the same goddamn golden weapon again? Weird. I'm pretty sure I have it on random. Strange hit the same one twice in a row. Cannot take a thingy weapon, curse weapon. That would be a terrible, terrible idea. Okay, jump on through. Level 2 already. Honestly, Hypersomnia might be really, really good early on. But also, Recycle Gland could be pretty interesting. Um... Hit bullets deal splash damage. That's kind of an interesting idea. I kind of like the idea of um, a recycle gland, to be honest. I'm going to give that a go. Obviously, we don't have anything that works with it right now. But I'm just thinking, like, we'll get there. We'll get a bullet weapon. And having it be able to recycle ammo means it'll last longer. Uh, the splash damage is something I wasn't really aware of before. So I'm not really... That wasn't really factoring into my decision. It doesn't matter anyways, because I've just ran into an enemy and died. Not really the sort of golden weapon I was looking to start with here. One that burns the ammo this quickly. I mean, it's strong. Don't get me wrong, it's strong. Okay. Level 2 already. Okay, what are we going to go with this time? I'm going to go with the Serene Dream. I think the Serene Dream is pretty interesting. I mean, this thing does insane damage. It's, it's pretty great. Kind of didn't mean to come through here this quickly, but what is done is done. Obsidian throwing knife's kind of an interesting one, because it obviously doesn't use ammo, but it's a little hard to hit certain enemies with. But on others, it can, it can be kind of insane. Um, again, I'm going to take Alien Testing as just a way to deal damage without using ammo. I think that's important to have a, as a backup. Get out of here, you. The knife is not, not, not as accurate as, as I was hoping. It does do an insane amount of damage, though, so there's that. 
I just managed to hurt myself pretty badly there. I really need some better weapons here. Okay. Inverted area. Probably want to go for Bloodlust again here. We've got two fucking explosive weapons here, so not the best for us. In fact, I think we've got just two versions of the same weapon here. Not what I'm looking for. I see you with your little, I wouldn't say flamethrower. Kind of a flamethrower, but not really. I'm looking for a bullet weapon. I want to get Recycle Gland going again. I was not paying attention there. Please go away, thank you. Golden Frost Knife. That could be kind of good. Golden Frost Knife, I think not needing ammo here, pretty good. Could just do a melee build altogether. I kind of disregarded a melee build from the get-go, but melee builds are pretty goddamn good. I don't know why I just added projectile speed to a knife, but science can, science can figure that out. Uh, that was pretty stupid of me. Um, tough Shell. Tough Shell's pretty good. But re there's Recycle Gland again, though. I'm going to go Recycle Gland again, just so I have some way of doing something. That's a Kraken gun. Oh, Lord, I'm so dead here, aren't I? Managed to get up to full health again. This isn't ideal. Flame shotgun. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really loving that. I'm gonna take the flame shotgun. I could take the Kraken gun though. Kraken gun might be a little bit better. Nice. Oh, it, it sent us into the vault anyways. Good, good. Okay, we're up to level six pretty much. Yeah, level six. I've got to be careful of those guys exploding. There's quite a lot of them down here as well. My goodness. Oh my lord. This is a lot of fire to deal with. Is this still the boss we've got to deal with as well? Maggot launcher. Intriguing maggot launcher here. Also got the infuser here. Don't know how good either of these are as guns, to be honest. I don't think I'm doing much damage with a maggot launcher, to be honest. This boss is so much harder now. <laughs> it, it's good though. It was it was way too easy before, so I kind of agree with it. Um. That a go. Fuse is good here. This area can be a bit sketchy. Holy goddamn. There is a lot going on here. I'd like this game to absolutely calm itself right now. Just chill for a hot minute. Okay, that thing's out. Is this a flame pop gun? I think it is, isn't it? Okay, my serene dreams and my slaps seem to actually be doing a pretty good job at keeping me alive here. But this thing's about to run out of ammo. And I only have bullet weapons, so... Not ideal. Okay, spear launcher did the job. Up to level 7. We're making it, we're making it. Ooh. Do I go with... <sighs> is this really difficult? I think I'm going to go with the impact. I mean, power craving could be good to get a modifier on every weapon we pick up, because we're picking up a lot of weapons. I'm going to go with that, actually, yeah. Um, unfortunately, this isn't super useful for us right now. I guess I'll go with lightning on this. See if we get any more ammo for it. Maybe it'll be useful. Does a lot of damage. Oh, really? The ammo box was 
fucking an enemy, so... Oh, this is terrible. I might, I might be screwed here. I have, I have, like, no way of gaining ammo back. Kraken grenade launcher. I don't even have enough rads to do anything here either, so... It's gonna be rough. I'm gonna go and pick up the cursed weapon, I guess. It's not much ammo, but it's something. And I'm out again. Yeah, not much I can do here, apart from hit you with this on occasion. There you go. We did it. We did it. Okay. Ugh, this is rough. We've now got a cursed weapon as well, which is particularly quite bad for us. Plasma shotgun. Seems decent. Although, I said decent. Its damage seems awful. Damn, man. This is really tricky. Very tricky indeed. Not having ammo drops is uh, pretty rough. We need more weapon drops, like even more than normal, like than we're getting right now. Right now, it's it's still not enough. Okay. And we're also getting multiple weapons that use the same ammo type doesn't help either. For some reason, I thought I still had Kraken uh, thingy there. Alien intestines. I do not. At least this thing is doing a bang-up job of killing everything quickly. Laser pistol. Cool. Laser pistol plus energy brain? That could carry us quite a while. I like the way it changes its sound as well. Good. I see you doing that. Slug it. Okay. Energy. Back again. This is tricky as hell, this. I'm really focusing. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm really focusing on trying to get this done. Um, da, 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 da. lucky shot. I mean, that just is necessary right now. I don't know how how I hadn't considered lucky shot before, but lucky shot is gonna be the only way to keep us consistent with one weapon for a while. Still doesn't guarantee anything either. We are getting ammo back though. Unfortunately, not for the right goddamn weapon. But I like this. It's a, it's a solution. It's something. <laughs> Ooh, adrenaline slowly gain ammo. There you go. Does that work for us? Yes, it does, baby. Okay. I think we are now no longer in need of ammo. I do not like the situation I've forced myself into here. A minigun there. Minigun's good because I can take um, the, what's it called, recycle gland. Yeah, this with energy brain's very, very good right now. This thing carries quite a while, and you can see our ammo's still full. So this, this, this is definitely the build that we're looking for to make this work. Good. 
ion cannon could be interesting, but I do not want to take a cursed weapon. Thank you very much. Okay. Can go through here. Yeah, still full on ammo. So this 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 uh thing's very, very good here. There's recycle gland. We might be able to do a, a, a good bit of damage here with this minigun. We've got like the full ammo setup. I mean, all we need now is back muscles, really, to like really sell sell what we've got going on here. But I think at that point, that might just be overkill, to be honest. I like the fact that it, the bullets are doing a, a tiny bit of splash damage now as well. Gives us like a little bit of AoE ability. Can we get the sniper out here? Thank you. Get both of those out. Nice. And everything's back to full ammo. So now we never need to change weapon again. I probably want to use the minigun here. There's just too many of them. How are you still... Hey, get back here. God damn it. Back to this while that thing regens a bit of ammo. Quadruple shotgun. Cool. Up to level 6 now. Right, is there anything else that's going to help us out here? I'm going to go with back muscle, weirdly enough, because I actually think that I'm going to be able to, like, save up a ton of ammo. And that'll help me in, in like, situations where I'm going to have to use loads, like, boss fights. Nice. Frost bullet flat cannon. It's pretty good, but it fires pretty slow. Yeah, the minigun's still better, I think. Just with that splash damage and the ability to just hose out bullets. Oh, I unlocked all gold weapons for this character and got a YV B skin. Did take a bit of stupid damage there. That was close. Just narrowly dodged the car that was thrown at me. <laughs> energy weapon. I, I need a better energy weapon now because this is going to fall off heavily. I mean, it's still very good with uh, energy brain, but it is going to fall off pretty heavily very shortly. But I do need a better energy weapon. But right now it's doing decently though. I think the best thing about it is like, obviously the damage is good, but it's piercing. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. That dude threw a car at me. I didn't even see that coming. I didn't even see the goddamn car. But now at least we have an inkling of what we need to, to get to victory here. That almost killed me, wow. Thanks, Sawblade. Can the Sawblade just hit something, please? Oh my god. Hit him! Game so frustrating sometimes. Nailgun seems pretty good. God damn, I mean, it loses a lot of ammo, unfortunately, so much so that I no longer have any left. God damn, that seems good. Right. We have. We have. The. The recipe. We have the recipe now. Um, did we get anything? Lucky shot. Part one. Lucky shot is part one of the recipe. Okay, we are now out of ammo. Completely, once again. Nail gun. Go. Okay. Oh my god, this has been a stressful episode so far. Um, energy brain again is good, but it's not going to be the best for us. That could be kind of interesting, but I'm going to take power craving. As I said last time, power craving is kind of good because... 
It means that when we're switching weapons often, we're always going to have a weapon mod. Also makes throwing bolts a little more useful too, potentially. This is quite good. The, uh, the flame revolver's ammo efficiency is pretty high. So it's, it's, it, just, it just makes it a completely different game playing like this. I'll take the club as a secondary, thank you. As I said, melee builds? Underrated right now. I could easily do an interesting melee build. And I've got reload speed in it as well, which is really good for melee weapons. Because that means we can swing faster. Good, good. There's some explosions going on down there. Holy shit, my god. What's this? Splinter? I think the electricity actually killed that rat there. That's pretty funny. Yeah, Splinter might be really good on this. This might be able to carry us as well if we build into uh, damage for this thing. Could be an interesting little setup we have going on here. I'm just intrigued by all the avenues we can go for here. So, again, Adrenaline Fuel is like the obvious choice. Um, but I'm going to give Long Arms a go. And see if this thing is uh, viable. I think with long arms, melee weapons could be really good. And obviously, long arms applies to every melee weapon. So we could always upgrade our melee weapons later. We don't have to stick with this specific one. Also, with splinter on top of it as well. And it also means that putting more weapon mods on one weapon is like... We, we get to keep it for longer rather than a bullet gun. Right. Anything else that's going to help melee here? Um, not really. I guess we just go for strong spirit here then. And also as well, deflecting shots away from us is always nice. Not always something you can rely on, but the fact that it's an option is pretty good. Obviously, it's not something I've really utilized for damage very often. But this guy will be knocking a lot of his bullets back. Which will increase the damage output quite a bit. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Okay, this is this is going pretty well. Um Hmm. Each kill increases HP ammo drop away, all weapons reload speed and decreases accuracy. That could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. I'm going to give Rage a go, because just the fire rate idea of it makes me think it could be really, really good with a melee weapon, because obviously the faster we can swing with a thing like this, the better. Good. So apparently these little dudes, that when they walk near each other, they merge. That's where we're getting these big ones from. Good. A little tricky navigating here. Like that one there is big. It's got multiple of them inside it sort of thing. So yeah, you can see that damage isn't crazy against like the big guys and bosses and stuff. So that's where I'm a little worried about this idea. Because I think we need more damage items to make it work. No, it's not it. I've never like gone through. Well, I said never. I never normally go through here. So why not give this a go? I actually think this will be okay with uh, melee, because we can destroy a lot of the bullets, and there's a lot of enemies that fire a lot of bullets, so... It might be alright. Like that guy specifically. We've just got to be careful of the uh, the big poison splodges. It's level 7 already. Also, being able to hit through walls is particularly quite nice. Haha! -ha. Have to whack that back at him, that's pretty good. Ooh, that was a really, really shit bit of uh, dodging by me there. Unfortunately, I can't destroy poison like I thought I could. For some reason, I really remember being able to destroy poison, but... Obviously, some, something from another mod, maybe? When I used to play um, the other mod? Um, 
Gamma Guts is pretty decent here. Um, I guess I'll go with Gamma Guts, yeah. I don't see my rage brewing here. Like, normally you can see like your amount of rage building. I'm getting like little hits of extra damage though, like damage numbers coming up. By the way, this having a melee weapon against this is very, very nice. Maybe I just got hit too much to build up any rage so far. I'm trying to do the rage build me, the rage building meter now. It's faint above my head. I don't know if I want to go to the inverted version of this, to be honest. That could be real sketchy, but we'll live and we'll learn, I guess. We'll give it a go. Um, discount, we don't care for too much. Sharp stress. Sharp stress could be good. I think we just go with a rhino skin, though, don't we? Remember the enemies that shoot through walls. Oh my god. There's a lot of enemies that shoot through walls here. As is quite apparent. By the insane amount of shots coming at us right now. H how am I meant to dodge any of this game? Gamma Guts helped us out there. No, 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 no. No. To buy some health there. Because this is a getting a bit ridiculous. These enemies, there's too many of them, man. This is ridiculous. At least I can stop the bullets in their tracks for a short moment, but it doesn't fully solve our problem, to be honest. And we've wasted a bunch of rads on this floor, too. Oh, hello. Reload speed again is very, very nice here. That didn't go too hot. That didn't go too hot. Oh my god. Just, I think being aware of where they are is the key. Oh, I've activated the boss. I did not mean to... This is impossible. <laughs> I did not mean to activate the boss. Right, first of all, let's let's go back and let's go business hog. Let's actually choose our weapon here because we've got literally all of them. So I'm guessing the lance is the best melee weapon. It would stand to reason that it is. Could be shovel though. I guess shovel's pretty goddamn good. But I'm going to go with lance. We're going to go back in. I'm going to try that again. I, just, I like lance because it's got really good range. It's got okay damage, but it's got really good range. So we no longer need to focus on ammo mutations at all, which helps because it frees up a lot of space for us to do things a bit differently. So obviously we're going to want long arms. That's pretty apparent. But what else are we going to want? Um, Euphoria could be kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go with Bloodlust though, just to keep our health decent. Let's give this... A good go. Cool, straight on through. Temporary buff. To be fair, what I could do is actually... I could load this thing up with... Uh, with weapon mods. But, I, like, that's the thing. Like, how actually long am I going to end up keeping it is the bigger thing. I did not think he was going to charge that distance, I'll be honest. I'm playing pretty poorly right now. This shouldn't be as hard as it is. This shouldn't be as hard as it is. I'm just, I'm missing my rads because I'm using the wrong goddamn uh, thingy. I suppose, actually, do you know what? Do you know what? Let's try this again. 
But this time... No, let's take that. This time, let's go in. And let's go with our regular setup. Regular setup. But then we'll switch to the other crown nearer to the end and see if that's worth doing. Once we've got ourselves situated and we've got our rads quickly, then we can try and switch our crown nearer to the end. I realise it's a bit of a risk because we then have to rely on the crown uh, vault showing up at the right time to make it viable. But I think it's plausible. I don't think you can step to me, boy. I just want your rads and I'll be off. So... Extra feet could be good here. Or the mood swing could be really good if we get the right weapon mutations. Hmm. I'm going to go with extra feet, to be honest. I like the extra movement speed here. I like the idea of being able to move faster. It seems very appealing to me. It's kind of good that there's so many of these little worm dudes everywhere, because they do give a lot of rads. It's them guys I don't like. See, there's a crown vault here, but we're not... This is too early. through here first, I think. Um, still no throwing, but sadly. I guess we go with Gamma Guts, because we're close range. We'll stick with this for now. Once we get to, like, level 7 or 8 is when I'd like to switch. And what do we get on this? We got Herming. Herming on a melee weapon, I don't think does anything. I wouldn't imagine it does. But maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. How have I not been hit yet? My goodness. <laughs> I've been juking and dodging every shot that comes at me here. Yeah, this, this boss is unfortunately the absolute goddamn worst. Chill out, bro. Golden bazooka. Damn it. If only I had long arms. This guy would be dead by now. Come on, long arms. Where are you at? Where are you at? Apparently nowhere thus far, but open mind's good. Um... Glass arm cannon. Why is it still only doing seven damage? Oh, I think it's just because they die in seven damage. I think it does do more than seven, but it's only displaying seven because then guys only have seven health. No, it's only doing seven. So, glass arm cannon just doesn't affect the damage of this weapon whatsoever for some weird reason. That's a bit of an annoying bug. Or weird interaction. I'm not sure if it's a bug specifically, but feels like it. Okay. Try and trip through. Uh, 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 Get out of there, you. Right, so do we want to switch now is the question. Go with flame on this, I guess. I don't think I want to switch yet. I think I can go deeper. I'm risking it all. I'm risking it all, but I think I can go deeper. Adding fire to this thing, 
Definitely a good addition. Getting it with Mood Swing on top would be particularly quite nice. My god, get rid of all these guys. We need more fire rate as well on this thing. See, there's the club. I don't know if the club's better than the lands, though, to be fair. Yeah, the club's definitely lower tier. Okay. Well, leveling up pretty quickly. That's good, at least. Dude, no long arm. How dare you? But I will take impact wrist, though. Impact wrist is pretty good. Especially in this area. Wow. God damn, you can see how slow we're killing stuff at the moment. It's pretty abysmal. The fire's doing a great job here. Just, I don't think the fire triggers on every hit, though, is the only thing. I think it's one in every, like, three hits. We are missing out a little bit on occasion with that. Okay, good. Honestly... Uh, strong out, whatever it's called, was a really good choice. Okay. Everything's just bouncing around and killing everything. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Okay, up to level 7. Oh, I missed a rad canister there. Okay. Still not getting what we want. I guess we go for even more damage here. I'm also going to take the toxic line because it's unlikely to hit me and will kill this guy, yeah, much quicker than I can. The golden shovel there. Yeah, the fire is just too slow on that, isn't it? Whoopsie, what, what weapon have I got here? Right, just bounce around and kill each other, please. Also, do yeah, don't you bloody dare with the car. We were so close to a good run. That last one, and the car goddamn ruined it for us. I'll not have it happen again. I also need better weapon mods here. Okay, right. At this point, we really, really need to uh, change our course here. We're dead. My god. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. That's unfortunate, but yeah. Couldn't get everyone going there. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.